Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the Diatones Just Air R27. It is the world's smallest wheel-based, fully proportional, 1 to 100 ratio micro FPV RC car ready to run. So it comes with the micro RC car, the pistol grip remote controller, the all-in-one VTX or the FPV box as they call it, and the FPV goggles. So taking a closer look at the RC car, it has the all-in-one VTX mounting area on the top of the canopy. Now you can mount the VTX via the four screws there permanently onto the canopy, but now they have made it so that you can easily attach and detach it via magnets. So we have two magnets here on the canopy and we have two magnets on the bottom of the VTX and they just click together just like that the magnets are strong enough that they won't come apart that easily and require a bit of force to pull them apart and there are four spring-loaded pins on the VTX side that makes contact to give power to the VTX. So on the bottom of the RC car, we have the type C USB port to charge up the built-in 3.7 volt, 350 milliamp size battery and the power push button on and off switch. You can charge it up using the USB charge cable provided, or you can use the type C dongle and use the remote controller batteries to charge up the car now the wheelbase of this rc car is just 25.5 millimeters and the car weighs in at just 30 grams without the vtx the all-in-one vtx is a 25 milliwatt four channel 5.8 gigahertz vtx called the fpv box and on the top is a push button switch to change between the four channels. And we have the dipole antenna. The input voltage is 3.3 volts to 5 volts via the pins. And it weighs in at just 5.5 grams. And it just clicks right on top of the canopy. Just genius. Now the remote controller is a pistol grip style remote controller with an ergonomically angled hand wheel. So even a right-handed holder like myself can use it due to the clearance that it provides for your trigger finger. We have the type C port on the side to charge up the RC car as we have seen. Now do not use this port to charge up the RC battery. The battery bay is on the bottom of the controller. There's a locking button and the lid opens up. And the battery that this unit came with is a three AAA in one battery. So replace the AAA batteries if they are depleted. You can also use an 18650 battery, but charge it up externally before installing it as well. Slide the battery back in, push it all the way in, close the lid and lock the lid. We have the power sliding on and off switch and a haptic feedback and light turns on on the remote controller. Now there's a power minus button. This is the low speed mode button at 70% and power plus button. This is the high speed mode button at 100%. On the top we have the quarter inch screw hole to mount a display screen. We have the multi-function button, which is basically used to bind to the RC car if the RC car gets unbound for some reason. And we have the VTX on and off button. So you can remotely turn the VTX on and off. Let's power up the RC car. And looks like the VTX is off at the moment. So turning it on turning it off, turning it on, and turning it off. 
But if you don't want to FPV with the RC car, the VTX can be easily be removed because of the magnets. So you will get rid of 5.5 grams of weight if you want to just drive the RC car line of sight. Next, we have the ground effect lights. So let's check that out. Currently is in red. We got purple, dark blue, green, light blue, orange, off, and back to red. And finally, we have the headlight switch. So you can turn the headlights on. Low beam, high beam, and off. It also has turn signal lights that blink corresponding to when the hand wheel is turned to the left and right. So turn the hand wheel to the left, left blinker to the right, and the right blinker. Now, when you throttle up and let go, there's a light that comes on. Throttling and letting go, light comes on and it turns off. And when you reverse, that same light comes on. Now, on the right side of the controller, there's the steering trim, steering trim to the left and steering trim to the right. Now, the control distance is set to be about 20 meters. Finally, we have the QG2 FPV goggles. It has dual antennas, not diversity, but like I always say, two antennas is better than one. And also a built-in DVR to record your driving sessions has a three-point head strap for a comfortable fit. It is a 5.8 gigahertz, 40-channel FPV goggles with a 4.3-inch display screen with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And the resolution is 800 by 480 pixels. So it's a pretty decent FPV goggles, box style. Charge it up via the micro USB port. It has a built-in 3.7 volt, 2000 milliamp size battery, and it is said to be good for about two and a half hours with the DVR recording and three and a half hours without the DVR recording. But if you already have FPV goggles, you could just get the car, the VTX, and the remote controller. And also just the car by itself, car and the VTX, and just the car and the remote controller. So here's how to bind the RC car to a remote controller if somehow they get unbound or if you purchase a new remote controller or you purchase a new RC car. So power up the RC car and wait about 8 seconds or so until the rear lights start to flash rapidly which indicates the binding mode. And there you go, flashing rapidly. Power on the remote controller. and long press the multi-function button and there you go lights stop flashing rapidly and it will go solid now you are bound and let's power this off and power off the RC car. And if you already have a multi protocol transmitter with the Fly Skies AFHDS protocol, you can bind to this car since it uses that protocol. So once again, simply power up the RC car until it goes into the binding mode. Power up the transmitter. And I have the AFHDS protocol. And there you go, rapidly blinking lights. So go over to the multi function. Fly Sky has been chosen. And there you go. And let me go ahead and hit the bind. And now the lights are solid and we are bound. So Set up your channels to how you like the controls and you can use this multi-protocol TX you already have. Or even if you have the old Fly Sky transmitter, that'll work as well. So some of the 
switches control the ground effect lights, the headlights, and I have my pitch to control the throttle backwards, forwards, backwards, and I have my yaw control to turn the wheels. Just like that. So you can use one of these transmitters with the multi-protocol. Now this transmitter is an Edge TX ELRS transmitter by Radio Master the TX12, but what I have is the JP4-in-1 external module, and that is how I'm able to bind to this Fly Skies AFHDS protocol. We also have the tabletop racing track this time. It is a 1 to 76 scale RC runway measuring in at 5 foot by 2.5 foot in size. It is made out of fabric and gives the micro RC car good traction on surfaces where you couldn't drive on because it is too rough and bumpy like carpet for example. And it is great also on concrete or other too smooth of a surface or the RC car would spin out when too much throttle is applied. And it has the built-in track, so you have limitations on your driving boundaries. All right, guys, so here we go. Out here at the uh, children's water park. And it is looking pretty good on this concrete. It's a pretty decently smooth concrete. There's a lot of little obstacles little twigs, little dried up leaves, and it is a trooper, man. It is pushing those leaves. Look, it's just running over those little twigs. Not the big ones, <laughs> but it is a trooper. Yeah, it's a perfect little place to bring. Look at that, the big twig, it can push it away too. And here's the slow speed, the slow speed mode, and that is the full throttle. And this is how slow I can go. I can probably better show you this on the uh, the fabric track back at the house. But that's the slowest, and this is full throttle. And let me go ahead and trim a little bit more. Okay, and so this is the high speed mode. Just press the button, and this is full speed, full throttle. But at the same time, you can go really slow because it's 100% fully proportional. And this is the slowest that it'll go. There you go. Just as slow as the slow speed, slowest speed. All right. Nice. I'm going to do some FPV now. All right, here we go. FPV. And we have 20 meters of distance, so this little area here is perfect for this. Little children's water park with little obstacles, well, huge obstacles. <laughs> yep, you can FPV with this thing in a nice little area like this, outdoors. You can play with this little RC car indoors anywhere there's flat area and on top of the fabric track there i am and i'm wearing the fpv goggles that it came with and whoa i full throttled and it went blank for a little while oh again so the contacts need to be perfect so if you don't want to ha have that kind of uh, episodes then go ahead and use those four screws to screw on the VTX. Yoo yeah. Okay, let's go over to the uh, playground area where there's nice soft ground. They install this nice soft sponge-like rubber-like substance. So let's go and check that out. All right, here we go. This is the playground area. It's a nice kind of bouncy rubber 
yeah platform so kids don't get hurt when they fall and stuff so this is another nice area a little rough so we're gonna get some shaky videos so let's check it out there we go yeah the video is a little shaky hey but it can handle it those little tires can still yeah still manage to go over all these little bumps so yeah if you are going to go on a rough terrain yeah this thing will bounce all over the place but this is fun because there's lots of obstacles here you can really do a uh, proximity fpv <laughs> go underneath all of the uh structures here in the playground yeah but it, it is a little bit better out there on the flat concrete the nice smooth concrete it's not that smooth it's not really uh like shiny type of concrete it's still a little rough so it does not spin out like some of the concretes that are a little bit too smooth like in your garage the yeah this little rc car will spin out but here we go going through this arch right here yeah fine controls and let's go over to this area right here and Go through the arch over here all kinds of little bumps there we go we made it micro fpv rc car guys all right all right guys so here it is using my radio master tx12 just as fun Full throttle. Woohoo! And probably this thing has more range now because this is a better transmitter. So let's see if I can go all the way across the other side. Yeah, no problem. Yep, all the way. Woohoo! Spinning out and heading back. There you go. Using a regular stick transmitter to drive the micro RC car. Let's run over some twigs. Yeah, push them around. Woohoo! Yeah. Not bad, huh? So here's the Diatones Just Air Q25 Micro FPV RC car. Now this one does not have the removable magnetic VTX like the new R27, but it does share the same FlySky AFHDS protocol. But you can run them together simultaneously. So you can race each other without interfering with each other's signal. Now the wheelbase is the same but the R27 has a slightly bigger body and the bottom plate is even made out of carbon fiber. And since the VTX on these micro FPV RC cars have four channels, you could run up to four of these micro RC cars at the same time. So that'll do it for this review of the R27 Just Air SNT micro FPV RC car by Diatone. And if you want to check these out for yourself, the links to these products are down below in the video description. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.